Hey guys, my name is Bando, this is Breakfast of Bando, and today we have another Heresy Thursday video, which is, you know, all good. We're always happy to see a Heresy Thursday video. Um, I've been trying to make a video for most of this week um, on an issue with the community in general, um, and I'm really struggling with it, so I apologise that we've not had a video kind of all week. Um, I've just not been able to put into words without going off for literally a 20 minute ramble about it and it's awful and no one will want to hear it. Um, so I'm just going to cover the issue briefly before I go into this Heresy Thursday. There's a big problem with like YouTubers like me um, in that we all love to talk about 3D printing. Um, but we have a real problem that we can't promote 3D printing to a wider audience because it exposes the creators to the wrath of GW. And recently, one of my favorite creators, known as Logik, or Logic, um, has been the latest victim of that. And unfortunately, Logic has then taken all of their uh, designs off the internet, which is a huge loss because they made some of the best, in my opinion, 3D prints. Um, it's very sad, it's something I wish we could talk about more. Um, I'm really hoping that in the future GW kind of has to lose face again chapter house style and kind of gets told to stop being such giant dicks because frankly they are. Um, they need to address this manufacturing process address the community and realize that they need to change not the other way around right so that's out of the way and it only took two and a half or two minutes six seconds or so which is good no rambling here heresy thursday artillery of the solar auxilia brilliant so it looks like we're getting another plastic kit big shock horror it's the Basilisk. It's a dual kit for the Basilisk and Medusa. I believe this is a Medusa. Where does it say? I'm sure I can find it. Um, I'm just going to assume it's a Medusa. I'm just going to go, yeah, there it is, the Medusa. Um, okay, brilliant. The artillery tanks are a bit naff, I'll be honest. Um, from what everyone who plays the game regularly tells me, artillery tanks are just not great. Which kind of sucks, because that's one of the biggest strengths of the Auxilia, is their ability to bring to bear painful amounts of artillery. Um, so what do I think? Well, it's exactly pretty much the same model we have as a resin kit. So there's not much design-wise that I can critique, um, you know, thinner lips on barrels, that sort of thing. Um, I like this dozer blade. This is a nice looking dozer blade. They have modeled some crew. This might explain why the special weapons crew guys disappeared so quickly after coming out. Um, it looks like they've got the padding that was missing from the regular infantry on them, which is nice. And they have a fully modelled interior, which is very nice. Um, if these can be created to be open-topped, I don't think they can. Um, that would be really nice. But I think these are just going to be like Land Raiders. They'll have a hinge door, probably this, this, this big door on the back. I can't, they don't show it. There is a big door on the back. That would probably be able to open up so you can see inside it. I generally don't bother with painting the insides of my vehicles. Um, I build them, do the doors shut. No one's going to see it, um, so it doesn't bother me. Plus, it would give me a load of extra bits that I can use for, you know, other random projects. Um, you know, these would be really good for my Raven Guard, these shells, because... I could use them for basing material on, for example, like a World Eater's Dreadnought uh, is standing over an IED buried in the uh, 
in in the ruins you know that that's that's peak sort of raven guard in for the setting of what i'm i'm doing my army in these guys as crew members look would look really cool you know doing other things in other vehicles chop them in half and stick him out the turret of a, a lehman ross or something <clears throat> so lots of detail it's a good model um it's just a plastic interpretation of the resin one there isn't much to say about a lot of these things when it comes to the transition over to plastic. Um, congratulations, you didn't mess it up. You you literally copied your own homework. Um, so yeah, I'm glad it's here. I'm sure several people are going to convert theirs to be um, Legion ones because we don't have this tank for the Legion yet in plastic and it's rather annoying. Um, Hopefully this means that we're getting it in the future because that would be a really cool kit that I would definitely be interested in is the Legion version of the Basilisk and the Minotaur or whatever it is, the Basilisk, the Gorgon, uh, the Bombard, whatever they are, all, all the big boom tanks. So yeah, um, congratulations, you did your job. I'm hoping we get some more. Um, I can't imagine it's going to be much longer before these guys are up for pre-order. Am I going to get them? I don't know. Um, I'm still on the fence of whether or not I'm going to bother even trying. Um, I might just save my money. The, um, I'm definitely feeling more of a pull towards this, this Tau army I've been talking about with the guys on Discord. Or even, a, I started spitballing a Custodes army today with Gojira. Um, that could be really fun to do. Um, still going through my Light Lords, so they're, they're slow progressing as well. So let's see what else we've got here from Warhammer Community. Total War, Warhammer 3, reinforcements arrive en masse. Well, Warhammer Total War is probably the only reason we've got the old world, so it's good to pay attention to this from time to time. Um, I don't play Total War 3, I've got Total War 2 and I'm quite happy with that. Um, but they've got a load of special units. The first up is a Frostworm. Here is my first bone of contention. Dragon Entomology is actually something that has a lot of literature about it. <laughs> For a fictional creature there is a lot of books. Um, this is not a worm. A worm has no legs. A worm is just the body. It can fly, it may not fly. That's a worm. It's got no wings, it's got legs, that's a drake. Okay? That's a frost drake. Know your dragons, GW, or Creative Assembly. Um, cafe looking more and more like it comes out of Raid Shadow Legends every day. Um, yeah. I'd much rather they go off and do something like Nippon. Nippon would be a great, great sort of uh, faction to have a look at. As would load of other like factions. Give us like Tilia and stuff, and yeah, Zinch um, or Tiznich. Uh, what was the other pronunciation I heard of this one? I think it's like Tizinich or something. That was just made my skin crawl. Uh, yeah, just the usual. You know, just extra characters. So that's cool. Uh, I think this is all a free update. Um, oh, it looks like they were designed by the Warhammer Studio. Woo. Um, oh! Fans of Warhammer The Old World should note that there aren't any current plans to bring Kislev or Grand Cafe to the tabletop for the foreseeable future. That is rather interesting because they were one of the prime selling points of the original announcement i told you guys I, we had this conversation the other day on discord i told them that the whole kislev thing that we saw in cafe was all concept art from these two games and had nothing to do with the old world call it so that's interesting Broken Lance is the latest Warhammer Plus animation. Here's a bombastic teaser. We need to talk about the word bombastic because this trailer is not bombastic. This trailer is boring. It's slow. It's pants. 
nothing in this trailer got me interested. Nothing in this trailer made me go, God, I've got to get a knight. I've got to buy a knight. I've got to buy a chaos knight. Nothing. This trailer looked like the the trailer cinematic for a free-to-play mobile game. This would have been this is this is an advert for a free-to-play mobile game that's just going to be like, hey, um, yeah, you can control a, a load of knights, but you actually have to pay us money if you want to do anything. Um, oh, you've moved one unit per eight hours. Sorry, uh, you've run out of knight crystals or some other random made-up currency that we've made to make it so you have to pay us. Um, unlock more crystals with your credit card. Uh, 800 crystals, only 999. You need 3200 to do anything. Yeah, I, not impressed. Warhammer Plus's animations have been a letdown after a letdown after a letdown. Um, yeah, I, I, you had Hell's Reach and Astartes out there. You had um, is it Sodes, Sodas. You have the talent available to make some of the greatest animations in science fiction, and you have squandered it and have basically released trash over and over and over again. Um, Warhammer Plus is going to crash and burn. I would not be surprised if we get maybe one more series out of it, and that's it, like one more year. Um, especially when production ramps up at Amazon. I reckon all of the stuff's going to disappear and it'll all just be Amazon. Um, and from what I hear from everyone else, the, the, the other content's not particularly great either. Um, yeah, just not worth it. So that's it. That's Thursday, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, for those of you who uh, you know have mentioned, um, I'd like to say that my mother says hello. She says thank you uh, for your concern, your thoughts and prayers. She is doing much, much better. Um, she is actually rather chipper and more kind of my mum that I remember from years ago than she has been for quite some time. So it's obvious this has been a sickness that's been hitting her quite hard. Uh, she's not out of the woods yet, though, unfortunately. She's still in hospital, so, you know, I'm still spending a lot of time there. Um, I'm not sick. I'm doing okay. I've managed to get uh, two months in, basically, without taking a sick day, which must be a record for me. Um, I'm now going to get really sick this weekend. I just know it. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to do a live stream at some point. I don't know when it's going to be. All my free time is... is just going towards other stuff at the moment, unfortunately. Um, oh, as always, guys, thank you everyone who supports this channel, everyone's on Discord, um, everyone who uses my Element Games code. That's been shooting up again. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I thank, thank, thank you. That's all I can say. I, I you make it worth doing, um, and it's fun to see your interactions. It's fun to see passionate people talking about things. Um, so keep it up. Um, you know, pop in the comments if there's stuff you want to see. If you want to see certain models you've seen in the past that you want me to cover more about that army, you know, more about my Thousand Sons, more about my Salamanders, for example, um, I'm happy to do it. I'm trying to get some space together so I can actually do some showcases of these, these armies. Um, because it is something people keep asking for. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for the comments. Um, please, you know, like and subscribe, I suppose. I hate doing that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thanks guys. And remember, if you are pitching it up, um, you know, Warhammer or models in general in the UK or Europe, check out Element Games. Um, not only are they 15 to 25% cheaper than GW directly, um, you can pick up paints from there. They've got the new um, Warfighter Fanatic from Army Painter. Um, I'm they're out on I think the second of March or second of April. Um, so I'll be pre-ordering the starter set from that. <laughs> um, 
as soon as payday comes around and I will be doing a review like I did with the TT Combat paints. I've got a load of other paints here that have arrived that I want to go over. So hopefully when I've got some time I can set up the camera to do that as well. Um, yeah, so yeah, if you want to pick stuff up, please, you know, go check them out. If you're an experienced painter who's used GW paints for a long time, go check out someone like TT Combat's paints. I've been so impressed with these paints. Uh, and they can be got either through TT Combat directly or through people like Element Games. And as always, the Element Games code is down in the description. Jam737. And that will double your reward points. You collect enough reward points, you can order stuff and get discounts. You know, you can end up getting stuff for free. Especially for making big purchases. I remember I picked up some, a couple of big boxes and that just gives you... A walloping load of points back which is great you know because then that knocks off a huge price of whatever the next thing you want to buy is all right guys thank you very much again i keep saying it um i really appreciate you being here thank you bye, -bye.